Hey everyone, it's your girl Miss Solomon from thedatingtruth.com. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel up above and you can follow me on Twitter at The Dating Truth. So I wanted to do a different kind of video because I want to get single people out of a place where they're angry. It's not your fault. It's not the opposite sex's fault. You know, I don't hate men. I don't think men hate women. And I don't want to come from a place where it's very negative because dating is exciting dating is fun meeting people liking people physical chemistry and intimacy are all really great things and when you do it right they're very very enjoyable and they make up our entire experience in life and they create our perspectives and it, they create how we interact with everyone not just people we're dating our family our friends everyone that we come across so it's not that we live in these independent bubbles and we just date when we want to date and it has no effect on the rest of our lives it really does so i want to get single people in this mode where you're a happy person you're a happy person and you're dating people who make you happy and essentially you're making them happy so in this video i really want to talk about how to care about someone else now First and foremost, I'm sure that we want to care as people. I'm sure that everybody out there has a good heart and you really want to care about the person that you're dating. But there are things that affect the level of our care and our reactions. So you can actually feel like you care, but you're not showing that you care. I don't want people to get confused. Caring about somebody does not mean going above and beyond for them. Caring about somebody does not mean doing everything that they ask you to do. Caring about somebody means being concerned for their well-being, for their emotional state, and for their health. So imagine that you had plans with someone and you didn't hear from them. What would be your first instinct? Many people will get upset. Many people will feel insecure. Many people will start to question the stability in the relationship, wonder if this person is really um, the person that they should be dating. What you should actually do is be concerned if the person is okay, are they safe, what's going on with them, and not really worry about yourself until you know that everything is okay with them. And that's really how you begin to care. And you say, you know what, I'm fine. I can take care of myself. I'm an adult. I don't need you to kind of hold me together. What I need is someone that is willing to accept the things that I have to give as a person. And when you care about somebody else, that's really what you're telling them. If someone is not the person you thought they were, then that's okay. Just let them be themselves. It's all right. Two, understand that you have not gone through their pain. If someone does things, because they're hurt, they're insecure, they have self-esteem issues, they have childhood wounds that they haven't healed, that's okay. You have not been there. That is not the place you're coming from. It's easy to say, well, I didn't call you because you didn't call me. Well, they didn't call you because they're insecure and they, you know, cry at night, suck on their thumb, hole in a pillow. Is that why you didn't call them? No, you didn't call them because they didn't call you. I mean, when you are okay with yourself, when you say, hey, I'm trying to give you something and if you don't want it, it's okay, I'll move my wares elsewhere, that's fine. But if you're actually living and responding from other people's emotional hurts, from other people's emotional problems and immaturity, then what does that make you? You have not been through what they've gone through and there's no reason for you to act the exact same way. When you care about somebody, you're able to say, look, I don't fully understand where you're coming from. I wouldn't do the things that you're doing. But I know you, I'm getting to know you as a person, and I want to make sure that you're okay. When you care about somebody and you want to help them, you want to help them resolve or heal their own issue. You don't want to resolve an issue because it's affecting you. Another way to care about the person that we're dating is not to fight the tie. Don't try to make them something or someone that they're not. If you're dating somebody that you think is incredibly messy 
and your idea of caring about them is just con continuously nagging them or trying to clean up behind them or trying to help them get help for their messiness, don't force your concern onto another person. You're concerned about where the relationship is going. You're concerned if they're going to be the right person for you. You're not concerned if they're enjoying their life to the fullest or getting everything that they want to out of their endeavors, out of work, out of their family life, out of life in general. And what you have to understand is you cannot fight the tide. You can't fuck the system. If something is not working, if it's not meant to work and it's not meant to be for you, it's probably going to be difficult. And it's not to say that you shouldn't work hard, you shouldn't be challenging, but what are you working for? When you care about somebody, you tell yourself, I'm concerned about you. I'm doing everything I'm doing so that you can live your life to the fullest. When you care about somebody, you're saying, I want you to be who you are. And I'm willing to help you be that person. Now, I want the point of the videos to be how to make someone else happy. Because as a single person, you should already be happy. I'm not a motivational speaker. I can't sit here and make videos all day and tell you how to love yourself, how to pat yourself on the back, how to give yourself manicures and back massages. I mean, I can. I mean, I could. But I'm not going to. I assume that you do. I can tell you I don't even know you and I think you're a wonderful person. I can only tell you that when you interact with other people, it should be pleasurable. They should like it. They should want it and want it often.